In this video, we're going to show you how to disable the Windows driver signature enforcement on a tablet. So the problem is we're on a tablet and our keyboard doesn't work when we go to disable the driver signature enforcement. So we're going to show you how to fix that. On a tablet, you'll need a USB keyboard to plug into the tablet. We have one right here. And so what we're going to do first is restart the computer and enter the BIOS. Now on this tablet, this is an Acer, to enter the BIOS you just simply restart the computer and you hold the volume up button and you press the power button repeatedly. So we just restarted the computer, we'll hold volume up and we'll just kind of tap the power button and that will kick it into the BIOS. Now this may be different on your tablet. I suggest just Googling how to enter the BIOS on your tablet. Uh, this is how we have to do it. Okay, once you get into the BIOS, what we want to do is we want to change the order that the machine is booting. So you can see here we go to boot, we go to boot priority order, and we want the USB ports to boot first. So we've moved both of the USBs uh, boot priority order to the top and we'll just exit and we'll save those changes. So as you can see here, now we have our keyboard. We'll just plug that in using the USB. We've restarted the computer holding the shift key. That'll bring up this screen here. And then from here, we just click on troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and we'll restart the computer once again. Now when the tablet restarts, now our keyboard will work. And we'll be able to press number seven on the keyboard. That will restart the computer again and disable the driver signature enforcement. If your keyboard isn't working on your Windows tablet, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.